So to, let's get yeah. let's talk a little bit about there's an incident that took place okay. on the show on a specific episode. Yeah, yes. buddy. You got into it with <laughs> yeah. one of the other cast yeah. members. Yeah. So give us a little backstory about that. Because I know so, it's reality TV and maybe yeah, it's exaggerated it was, no, or maybe it's not. Mm, mm, um, so sadly, <laughs> it wasn't It wasn't exaggerated. Right, right. I can say that it was much deeper in real life. Okay. It right. was, yeah. you know what I mean? And so what that showed me, again, in my prayer, God showed me me. Yes. He showed me, you know, Nina from the hood. Right. He showed me Nina right. from St. Louis. Sometimes we have to step back. Well, and, see, yeah. what had happened was, right. Chazelle, <laughs> is I was only seeing Nina, I was only seeing Alpharetta Nina. Okay. You know what I mean? I was only seeing suburban yes. Nina, Nina that works at the country club. Right. And while I've never forgotten where I've come from, right. I have still never had anything like that right. transpire in my life. Okay. So what actually happened was, um, you know, Ashima, she was getting really emotional about, mm-hmm. you know, Darren maybe not feeling her. Right. Mm-hmm. Okay. And so I'm like, no, he does feel you because, right. you know, the guys had a group date yes. and he was telling them that he does. Right. And then all I heard was the word snitch <laughs> all i heard was that s word yeah that was a you trigger I mean? right <laughs> and huge trigger right. huge trigger from where i'm from yes yes huge trigger That's, uh-huh. and so then i hear this front from tandy and then you know mario jumps in ashima right. jumps in um you guys may not have seen that right. the only person who was completely silent was carrie okay you know he sat in between yes, me and tandy he, uh-huh. he didn't say not a word right. you know what i mean he was right. as, as as quiet as a church mouse okay right. But everyone else jumped in, and I sat there, and I took it initially. You know, like, yeah, that's snitching this, dry snitching this, this, that, that. Right, and right. before yeah, I knew it, yes. I was just like, yes. who you calling the stick? <laughs> and it just, oh, my God, it just escalated. Right. And then, you yeah, know. Because the, the, the evening didn't start out that way. You guys were vibing. We were peddling. Yes, you know, time. strangers in the streets of Atlanta was helping us. Right, right. Get the peach roll up the hill. Yes. It started off great. Right. And, you know, it was just it was just one of those things where I, I definitely was triggered. Right. And so not only was I triggered before I really um, blew up my my emotions yes. and my feelings were dismissed. Because I remember at some point Mario was like, "Hold oh, no, up, calm down, calm down." You and God. Right. and I'm like, "You don't tell me to calm down. <laughs> like you guys are calling me a snitch. Like right. where, where I'm from, you can call you know a black person the N word every day, all day, seven days a week, but you do not right. call a yeah. black person yeah. a snitch. Okay. Like that is very right. Eh. Right. that's a no. You know, yeah. you don't cross that line, right. especially when I was a snitching, and especially when my right. heart was in the right place. Yes. Yes. So for me, I'm just dealing, you know, with all this, and we we did, we had some, <laughs> we were sipping on some white, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and right. so that was something else that I learned too, to never drink on set. Right. Never, ever, unless right. it's water, yeah. to not consume yeah, it because it that'll be all that you have. Right, and right. so too, that was something else that I noticed, you know, um, behind the scenes and in hindsight, I'm like, girl, you better leave that vodka alone. Right, don't, right. Be, don't be on set <laughs> drinking no vodka because yeah. the minute somebody right. says something wrong to you, it's yeah. going to go down. Right, right. And I was deeply disappointed. Right. Again, I, I dealt with a lot of personal disappointments, mm-hmm. you know, through this through this journey. And I'm driving from Auburn Avenue back to back to Alpharetta, and I'm boohoo crying. Oh my god! And I'm just like, oh my god! I curse out this lady on TV. <laughs> you know what I mean? But then there was right. another side of me that was like, yeah, you needed to because people need to know that you're still with it. Right, and I'm right. like, but it doesn't matter that I'm still with it. Like yeah, I feel so like so many times conflicted. I'm such a Pisces. Yes. You know what I mean? The fish that you know are opposite and swim in right, different right. directions, but yet they meet in the middle. So I'm having these two different dialogues going right. on. Like, no, people need to see, you know right, what I mean? Like, right, you still, right. I'm like, but no, it wasn't right. Yeah. <laughs> but there came a time, I think, on one of the episodes where you guys were able to yes. get together yes. and talk about it. Yes. And I thought that that was huge for women, you mm-hmm. know, through, again, throughout the country that yeah. you had a dispute, but mm-hmm. now you can sit down and talk about it Listen, and move past it. Listen, the personal growth was, I, and, and I kind of wrote about this um, on my Instagram, I think, because there were, you know, fans right. and viewers who watched the show and they felt like the fights and the drama that it wasn't real right. and that, you know, right. it was scripted because, you know, we're we're at lounges together. We're dancing together. We're right, partying right, together. Right. We're taking pictures together. Like yes. there is no way that the drama and the beef was, in, you know, really right. real. Yeah. But what happened was we've come to a place of, you know, letting bygones be bygones and actually apologizing. Right. And I just think that as people of color, we're used to holding on to things forever, right. Right. holding on to the beef, 
hold yeah. on to the grudges right. and we right. just collectively and we need to let all of that go. we gotta let it go and right. collectively we're like you know what it's a bigger picture yes. at hand you know right. there's actually life yes. out there we can't continue to carry this right. in our lives and still expect to have peace right. you know what i mean or or prosperity or other things that could right. take place in our life right. but it's been stunted because we're walking around with this bitterness and this resentment and unforgiveness right. Right. and so she and i did we got to a place where we sat down and apologized and so what happened for me was mm -hmm. after after the peach roll incident the holy spirit was convicting me that i needed to apologize Aww, okay gotta love that good old <laughs> holy spirit <laughs> you're like wait what gotta, <laughs> when i say apologize gotta love the holy spirit because i was and right. and, and i the I love my relationship with the Lord because right. I don't withhold anything. And okay. I was like, Lord, I don't want to apologize. Right. right no, right. Yeah. I don't want to. I did you this know, because she, were, she yeah. offended me. They yes. offended me. They tested me. They tried me like who they think they are. They right. don't know who right. I am, yeah. you know? But then you still got to love that Holy Spirit, yes. you yeah. know? And so yeah. that and was- you have to listen. Sometimes. You have yeah. to listen. Yes. So that was the thing too, is that the Holy Spirit reminded me of what matters more. Right. Right. And what matters more to Nina Grace is self, per is, is personal growth right. and development, mm -hmm. women empowerment. I, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? I'm all about sisterhood and things yeah. of that nature. So I was reminded right. what matters more. So first I had the conviction of the Holy Spirit. Right. The second thing that many people may not know about was actually Reva. Reva and I, we sat on the couch. No one has ever seen this footage. And she was just like, Nina, you know, we're associates. Right. You know, Tandy and I are associates. I've been around her. This is how she is. Okay. She didn't mean any harm. Right. She didn't mean right. any right. offense. Yeah. But she I can understand. Yeah. She said, but I can understand if yeah. I were you and I didn't know her. Right. I don't know how I would have. Yeah. I don't know how yeah. I would react. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it was first the conviction of the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. Then it was Reva. And even with them both, I was still just like, mm, nah. <laughs> You're still stuck in your And then Chica comes. And, you know, Chica, yes. he's like, you know, and you know, right. some real yeah. G That's stuff. That's the mediator coming in. You know what I mean? He's like, oh, some real G stuff because, right. you know, you solid, blah, blah, blah. Y'all right. need to squash it. And so it was, you know, one yes. one souls, one one waters, and then God gets the increase. And right. so I feel like Chica was that increase. Yeah. Now, let's, you know, jump to the reunion show yes. where you did make a connection with one of the men there, Terrell. Yes. And so can we talk a little bit about... Yeah, we can talk about whatever. What, what happened there? So are you guys yeah. friends? Are you guys dating? So um, Terrell and I, we are not dating. Okay. I want to be very, very clear on that okay. because I get comments, right. you know, on my Instagram. we're looking at the show and we're like... You know, I you get know. comments on my Instagram, then in my DMs, you know, just all these different things are taking place. And so I am single. Right. Okay. okay. I am not dating anyone okay I'm definitely um, I'm open to dating and I am ready to love yes. the man yes. that I am ready to love is he's gonna be like a unicorn in his own way right. because of the life experiences that I've had he got to be real yes. you know what I mean he got to be right. raw it's yes. not about the light it's yes. not about the cameras it, he got to be a man man right. you know what I mean like there is there's a presence right there's there's an energy when you're around yes. a real man and it just commands your attention right. and right. I didn't have that Okay. In, in this journey so that was one of my and ways okay. too yes. in which I knew he wasn't here because right, the man right. for me is going to command my attention mm -hmm. which isn't easy to grasp mm -hmm. but um so no he and I were not dating um we're I really don't I feel like Reva now I don't want to <laughs> <laughs> listen I, I feel it like I'll throw right, around right. the framework but you know from a more um, superficial level, yeah, yes. you know, we're friends. We're gonna always yes. support one and I another. I think friendship is extremely so, important. But yes. no, we're we're not dating at all. So, what are some of the lessons that you are taking away from the show? <sighs> it's a bunch of lessons. Yeah. Um, I'm really trying to think of where to even start right. with that. Uh, one, I've learned to always be yourself. Okay. Always be yourself, right. no matter how it may be construed. Mm -hmm. There's nothing that can, there's nothing that's worth your authenticity and okay. your transparency and you being you. Right. So, you know, I've read comments from people saying that I was emotionally draining, <laughs> you know, to people saying that I need mental health. I mean, you, I, I've read all the comments, right, well, not right, all, right, I, right. I, I haven't read all yeah. the comments, but I read some of the comments and in spite of it all, what I'm grateful for is at the end of the day, I was still me. Right. I'm still me yes. and I am. I'm connecting with so many amazing men and, and women, women. Yes. who appreciate me mm -hmm. for being myself on this journey. Right. So being myself, always keeping God there. Good, you good. know, there was a lot that the viewers didn't get to see in which I was actually fasting. Right. You know what I mean? During the show, 
And so I learned that when you put yourself in a physical discipline, you have a spiritual release. Yes. And even when, you know, I had got into it with Tandi, I feel like my flesh was just ready to pounce. Right. right because right. I've been fasting since January of right. 2009. Okay. And so every month for 21 days, I'm putting my flesh under subjection. Right. And so when it got to that place and then just even different, you know, um, journeys within the show, it was, it was a lot. I had a, a lot of different moving parts going on that the world didn't get a chance to see. And so for anyone who knows what it's like to fast, I'm hungry, I'm hot, <laughs> you know, I want to cut my hair right, off, right, right. I'm cranky, yes. I'm out of my comfort zone. Right, right, right. I'm not just sharing with like one man or one woman. It's like two, you yes. know, ten, yes. nine of a, nine other different women. Right. It's ten of a different men. It yeah. was just, it was so yeah, much going on. Process. But I did, I, I learned a lot. Um, even in my own self self growth, I learned that it is okay right, right. to be transparent, yes. and it is okay to walk in vulnerability because I struggle with that right. for a great deal of my life. Okay, you know, even in dating, it's like I, I want you to know me, but I don't want for you to know too much about me. Right. And now with this whole journey and with so much that's already out there, even things that I put out there on my own, now I'm just like, up, oh, whatever <laughs> man wants me now. <laughs> <laughs> it's surely enough. Right, right. You know what I mean? The one for me. Yeah. And what Asterisk are some of the Martin. things that you're looking for in a man? I would say balance. Okay. Balance. And for me, that's like, you know how in school you have, or in certain projects, you have like that one word that's circled, but yes. then there's so many different, right, right, you know what right. I mean, lines that yes. sprout from that? Balance. A man who's spiritual, a man who is uh, comfortable with being a man and right. the different roles and hats that he plays. Okay. A man who understands or will give me room to be myself. I need my solitude. Yes. Even when I get married, right. babe, I need my solitude. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? I need some me time. I yes. need some me time. Yes. That's how I recharge. Right. And having a man who has some depth. Right. You know, I'm a very, very spiritual woman. I'm a very, I have a lot of depth. Right. You know what I mean? It's like I can be superficial, but there's a lot of depth. Right. And I don't believe that a person can be superficial and then try to reach for death. You know what I mean? Right. Those are like the fake deep kind of people. Yes. Yes. And it's like, oh, that's another fake deep person. Yes. Uh. <laughs> so, you know, a man who's spiritual, who's a man, who's comfortable right. in his role of being a man, who's going to let me be me. Right. But then also um, someone that I can just really connect with. Right. Yeah. You know what I mean? I, I, I feel... And it's, it's important to have that connection. It's important yeah. to have that connection. And yeah. so for me, I'm in a place right. where honestly, with me still meeting like different men, even in passing or, right. you know, if they're sliding in the DMs, you know, I have to caution myself right. because a part of me believes that I need a man who has a past yeah. because I have a past. Yeah. So, and then I also feel like, you know, I have to have a man who has a future. So he has to have a future right. and a past. That's the only way he's going to be able to understand me because that's who yeah, I am that's and, who that's, you are. and mm -hmm. that's where I am right. but I still have to be careful of that yes. because I've been attracting men who <laughs> have a past but they're still in their past right 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 they have not moved on <laughs> they, they haven't moved on they haven't moved on I'm like I don't want no deep boys Jesus I did not want no deep boys oh my goodness I feel like I can talk to you for like yeah, you know the entire day and this is my last question because okay. I know that you have to go but I want to find out mm -hmm. I mean what do you, given the experience that you've had on mm -hmm. the show and, and overall in your personal life, yes. what would you tell your younger self? What advice would you give to younger Ooh. Nina? Well, you know, about love. Um, about love. Yes. Oof. Well, hmm, that's a really good question. I'm gonna, I, I really wanna do my best to not take so long in answering it. Right, no, th I, I, just think about that for a minute. Yeah. I know it's, um, it's probably a tough question, but yeah. I, I just, what would you, what, what do you know now that yeah, you didn't know then? It's, I, huh, now, yeah, <laughs> yeah, girl. Yeah, you have a sister out right now. <laughs> what I know now that I didn't know then is that there's levels to love. Right, okay. There's levels to everything yeah. in life. I've always had self-love, right. but not to the point where I didn't do some of the things that, you know what I mean, I've been pretty open about to the world. I didn't have enough you know, self love to where I could have attracted, you know, a man in my life years ago because right. I was so full of self love that it wouldn't have been based on his love. Right. You know right. what I mean? To validate me or to approve me or to feel like I right. need him. Right. So there's levels to love and 
we can only go as high or we can only go as deep in our self-love based upon what we're willing to see about ourselves. So that's one of the things I'm very fortunate about. I can see the most craziest, wildest, you know, things I want to look at, you know, like this about myself <laughs> right. and still address it. Yes. You know what I mean? To move forward, right, right. to go deeper into that self-love. Okay. Well, I have to say to you, you are extremely positive. Thank you. And I want to thank you so much. In real life, it is. <laughs> for sitting down with thank us you for and having for sharing me. your experience. Thank you. I want to wish you continued success I appreciate and blessings you, and love yes. uh, on your journey. Thank you.